So I hear that uh, Putin has uh, introduced some new technology uh, to his armory, his weaponry, something uh, uh, hypersonic called Zircon or something that from is from, you know, it sounds like that rock that kills Superman or something to me. I mean, in my naivety, what is it, Sean? Yeah, it, it, the, the names, I don't know where they get some of these names from, but um, yeah, it's another of the hypersonic. Remember the Kinzhal missile that no. was, okay, that was a hypersonic missile that um, was used earlier in the war uh, with uh, Ukraine that President right. Putin claimed was undefeatable. Mm. There's no answer to this. It flies at Mark V or something, and therefore it's very difficult to shoot down. Um, they, they try to use the example, if I fired a bullet at you, how do you intercept that bullet? Because it's not in flight for very long. It's moving so fast. Mm. It's very difficult to find something that mm. can that track car, it, yeah. predict it, fire something, get there in time. Mm. So a, a bullet fires a, over Mark 1, but if you're now into Mark 5, it's really difficult to shoot these things mm. down. Um, and yet, Patriot System, introduced in the 1970s, yes, it evolved quite a lot over that time, but it does appear to have shot down some mm. of these Kinzals. So you've got a missile here. You've got this ground based defense system here. This fires at Mark 5. This thing here predicts where it's going to be. So it fires and it knows it's going to be there and it takes it out. That's pretty impressive. It's very impressive. Now, part of this also is to work out just because it's called Mark 5. Well, let's, let's get on to your. So, Zircon is the next generation of the missile. Apparently, this goes up to Mark 9. So, it's even faster. Um, and uh, apparently they've been, in, the Russians are introducing this now, even though they've done some test firings, they're not really past the operational level yet, but they mm. clearly want to introduce it early. Mm. Um, but it's, so it's even more difficult to shoot down. But it's worth pointing out that if you have ballistic missiles, the advantage of ballistic missiles is they go into space and then come down again. In space, there is no drag. So you can go very fast in space. You can just keep accelerating. Um, so some of these missiles, um, when they get launched, they do go hypersonic. But of course, when they come back into the Earth's atmosphere, the drag starts to slow them down and the heat and inevitably the viscosity of the air, it becomes more and more drag. So they're not doing Mark 9 all the time. Mm. They might be doing Mark 9 and they're slowing down, still very fast, as they approach their target. Mm. So I think part of the solution for shooting them down tends to be near the target rather than in space. But you remember the Star Wars initiative that came up for some years ago? Mm. All of this was how do you take out ballistic missiles in space? But the, but the deeper issue here is that th this is all scary because Russia's got these. Why hasn't America got them? Well, America tested hypersonic missiles and said, they're a bit faster than ballistic missiles, but they're just as difficult to shoot down. Mm, mm. And they're about a third more expensive than ballistic missiles. So I've no doubt America has its own collection of very clever mm. capability. The point being is that often in the military world, you don't want to show your enemy the full capability suite mm, you've got. Mm. So you, you think it's all talk? Computing. Well, no, but I, I think the danger is Russia's being forced to push stuff that's its cutting edge into conflict so the west goes ah they've got that let's work quietly on how we mm. defend against that mm. do you remember mm. the gulf war i mean back in the f117 um the sort of night fight that little um delta wing um stealthy airplane i that, love the way you say do you remember the f117 and I, i'm tempted to go yeah but no i don't <laughs> <laughs> no but it was a big it was um it was a big thing in the gulf war that they it was the first time the americans going to go in at night mm. single seat jets mm. that were stealthy couldn't be seen they'd never been seen before but they'd been in service 10 years earlier mm. Mm. they were developed by the american skunk works what mm. a great name mm. Mm. and they were but the american never showed them off because it wanted them to be available for the day that they are needed mm. and nobody would know how effective they were wouldn't mm. have been able to work out how to shoot them down mm. now they're all retired now but mm. in the same way you know this missile this new zircon missile is brand new in fact it's mm. not even in service properly yet mm. putin's having to field it which mm. means he's showing the west what it can do mm. so sure what we need then we need you to keep track of this magic thing, Zircon, and give us an update when it was first used and how effective it was. If only I could know that sort of stuff.
um, I think what's been interesting is a lot of it depends on what Russia says they're doing. Uh, inevitably, in the same vein, America will not be uh, keen to showcase how it takes these missiles out. Uh, it might be that the Patriot has been able to take them out. Mm, mm. It might be they need to be taken out in another way mm. and uh, in a way that we won't necessarily mm. know. There's been a lot of work recently in the last, certainly in the last few weeks, of how you use lasers to take out some mm. of these hypersonic... Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, cause it, because the laser yeah, travels yeah. at the speed of light, mm. obviously it's a lot easier. You don't have That's any lag. Slightly f faster than Mark 9? Slightly faster, yeah. yeah. Slightly faster. Because yeah. um, as you say, if you're firing something to intercept something, you've yeah. got to fire ahead of it. If you're doing Mark 9, how far ahead of it do you fire to intercept it? Basically just put a wall. And a wall of lead and it flies through it. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That, that works. Yeah. That works. Right, but, so we know how you can actually ferret your way into the truth. So maybe we can be the first to report when it's actually used. Well, we'll keep so, an eye on it. Because yeah. I, I do think any technology that Russia brings to bear in this, it sounds scary, but the flip yeah. side of it is it is showcasing its cutting-edge capability, yeah. which is never a good thing in the military. Yeah, watch this space.